there is no doubt that we are witnessing intolerance of many kind which is more visible which is more uh, dangerous dangerous also because it has tacit approval of the powers that be we have intolerance at levels which is not noticed by the media some of these small things make news but that's not really where intolerance really hurts the people i really think that challenge to secularism in our country is taking place below the radar the radar of the media this government knows that in order to change practices of secularism you don't need to change the constitution of this country you just need to wink at the sho he'll do the rest so a lot of uh, communalization of society and public life is taking place below the radar uh, when an ordinary muslim walks into a police station he gets a very different treatment than he used to get earlier large number of micro communal incidents are being triggered all over the country which are not even noticed which are not even reported in the media uh, these are very serious challenges that are taking place having said it i think we would be untrue if we did not acknowledge the fact that previous governments had also indulged in practices of intolerance this business about banning books and banning films is becoming part of our national culture anyone can stand up and say this offends shivaji this offends dr ambedkar this offends x y and g ban it stop it we have simply started accepting it as a staple diet in our country and in this i do not find congress to be very different i do not find most opposition parties to be very different the only difference is they want one set of things banned other people want another set of things banned we must protest against that all i'm trying to say is if we are really serious about opposing the bjp if we are really serious about taking on the challenge to the very idea of india that mr modi's government poses then congress style secularism won't do then this anti bjp unity of political forces won't do it's counterproductive we have to have the courage to be consistent we have to have the courage to speak the truth and then only can we possibly ask hard questions to the bjp